In this video, I want to look at this problem. A toy rocket blasts off from the ground with initial velocity 25 meters per second and accelerates at 1.8 meters per second per second until its fuel runs out 12 seconds after takeoff. What is the greatest height the rocket reaches? Okay, so let's visualize what's going on here. Okay, here's the ground, okay, and then you've got your rocket blasting off okay at that initial speed of 25 meters per second okay it's going to be traveling directly upwards okay and it's going to reach a height where uh, 12 seconds later after take after takeoff where it's going to run out of fuel okay but it's not going to stop traveling upwards at that point at that point once the fuel has run out, it's going to be traveling upwards under its own momentum, okay? Um, and so, after that point, uh, because there's now no, no fuel to burn off to keep it moving upwards, it's going to be uh, under free fall, okay? Falling freely under gravity. So, there is going to be a section of traveling upwards there, okay, this bit where there is no fuel and it's just traveling under gravity. So this is this is going back to the idea of throwing the ball up in the air, okay, or throwing the pen up in the air, okay. There's going to reach a point where the velocity is zero and then the rocket is just going to fall back to Earth, okay. So this is the situation that we have. So we're going to need to be thinking about dealing with a SUVAT problem, okay, in order to deal with this section of the motion, because here the acceleration is 1.8. But then I'm going to have to deal with this section with another SUVAT situation because the acceleration has changed to uh, minus 9.8, okay, because it's now working under gravity. So, for the first section of the motion, okay, we've got the SUVAT, okay. Now, the initial velocity is 25. We're accelerating at 1.8 meters per second per second, okay? And it's traveling for 12 seconds like this. So what I want to do is I want to work out both the S and the V, okay? So let's work out the S first. So this is the equation that doesn't have the V, which will be the third equation. So S is equal to U times T, 25 times 12, plus 1 half times A, so 1.8, times T squared, so 12 squared. So the displacement in the first 12 seconds is 12 times, uh, 25 times 12, plus 1 half times 1.8, times 12 squared, and that gets me 429.6 meters. So that's how far it's traveled in the first 12 seconds of motion, okay? That's its displacement. So I'm ignoring the height of the rocket here, okay? Um, or you could think about that I'm measuring it from the tip of the rocket, I guess, okay? Um, and then I've traveled 429.6 meters, uh, but I'm going to just treat the part of the rocket as a particle so I don't have to worry about its, its length, okay? Right, so that's S. And then V, well, um, choices, choices. Let's go with question number, um, with equation number one. Uh, v equals U plus AT, so 25 plus A, 1.8 times T, 12. So the final velocity is 25 plus 1.8 times 12, and that's 46.6 meters per second. Okay, so that is the first section of motion. Now, Now the fuel has all gone, okay? Now 
Now the fuel's all gone, the initial velocity of in the second stage is the final velocity that we had in the first stage. So that's 46.6. The actual final velocity that I want in the second stage is when we reach its maximum height, and so the velocity will be zero. The acceleration now will be down to gravity at minus 9.8. And I don't know t, and I don't know s. But the question doesn't ask me for t, OK? I could find it, OK, um, as, just as easily as I would any of the other problems. But I want s, so I'm looking for the equation that doesn't have t, which is the last one. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So the v squared is 0. Uh, u squared is 46.6 squared plus 2 lots of minus 9.8 times by s. So I'm going to rearrange that. Uh, 46.6 squared is 2,171.56. Divide that by 2, divide that by 9.8, and I get s as 110.79387766, etc. So that is how far it's travelled in the second section. So about 111 metres, OK? So in total, OK, the greatest height is the 429.6 plus the 110.79, which gets me to 540.3938776, so 540 meters to two sig fig, okay? And that's how we can figure out the greatest height of the rocket. So, you know, if, you're, if someone says, well, it's not rocket science to you, then you can come back with them and say, well, I know what rocket science is all about and show off, okay?